Okay, this morning we're going to work with one of our graphic organizers for vocabulary that we've worked with before, but let me just remind you, it's been a while, um, the iceberg, the iceberg. And when you have an iceberg, you have a big chunk of ice and it's floating in the water, right? What's down here? The, the rest of it. The rest of it. The big part, that's right. So the largest part of an iceberg is down under the water, like that. So this, what people see and think, that's, that's the main part of the iceberg. It's really not. This is where all of, the, all of the weight is. Well, we are working on a unit that has to do with law enforcement. And so what I want to do is kind of bring to your mind a lot that's involved with law enforcement, because we're not going to be talking just about police. Okay, and sometimes that's what that's what comes to people's mind, and then they don't go deeper into that. So today, we're going to talk about all of this that makes up the umbrella term of law enforcement. So what I want you to do is just think of anything that comes to your mind that has to do with law enforcement. Police. Police, okay. Go ahead and call out. You don't have to wait. Probation. Do what? Probation. Probation. Okay. What else? Jail. Jail. I heard witness. What else? Bail. Bail. Prison. Okay. Good. C block. C block. Okay. What else? Traffic stops. Traffic stops. Okay. Lawyers. Good. Taser. Taser, okay. And when we had um, Deputy Jones come in and talk with us, he showed you his taser and talked about the different settings on it. What else? Electric chair. Okay. We're going for the big stuff. Lethal injection. <laughs> okay. What about other, we've got police. Are there other careers that are involved in law enforcement? Firefighters. Is that law enforcement? Security guard. CIA. CIA. Friendly law enforcement. Okay, let's do security guard. SWAT team. Okay. Special investigation units. What else? CIA. <laughs> FBI. FBI. I heard something else. DEA. AFT. You're talking about like the district of drug, drug, enforcement. drug enforcement. Okay. Highway um, patrol. Highway Patrol. The AFT. What's that? Armed Forces Tactics. Armed? I don't know that. Okay. All right. What about what about citizens? How do citizens view law enforcement? Can you can you look at it from that point of view and see what we can add in here? When you think of how law enforcement affects you directly. What do you think of? Citizens arrest. Citizens arrest. Okay, somebody put probation. I see that. Warrant. Okay. Undercover. Okay. Do you see this as as? Do you look at law enforcement overall as something positive or something negative? I mean... Positive. Are they helpful to you? They're like, they protect you. Okay, protection, good. Okay. That's a big list. See that? All of that that just came out of your heads has to do with law enforcement. So when we go into our unit and we're talking about law enforcement... All of this is involved. And that's the way lots of words, it doesn't have to just be this term. Lots of words are like that. We say the word, but in our heads we have all of this stuff. Just like with an iceberg, all the big stuff is down underneath that doesn't necessarily get seen. So I want you to keep all of this in mind as we're going into our research and as we're having our guest speakers come in and we're talking about law enforcement. Okay. Now, this tool, this vocabulary graphic organizer, the iceberg, is something that you can use in other classes, too. You can use it with your vocabulary terms. You can use it for different subject areas. 
Um, let's talk about an example where you could use this in another class. Um, who, who's taking social studies? Okay. Ashley, Brandon, Asha. What, what are you all studying? The branches of government. Branches of government. So how could you use an iceberg? All of you help Ashley think of this. How could you use an iceberg graphic organizer to go into the different branches of government? Yes. I know what the different branches are and then do an iceberg on them. Okay. What would you put in the top? Government. Government. Okay. And then down underneath, what kinds of things would go? President. Vice President. Okay. The different branches, legislative, judicial. Okay. All right. Good. So you could... Good. Right. Okay. You could get a lot of information about that. Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights. Okay. Brandon, what did you say you all are studying in your class? Oh, I'm in the same class with Ashley. Doing the same thing. Oh, okay. I thought you said, do you do money and economy? I did before. Okay. How could you use this with that? Put... If you put economy in the top of the iceberg, what kinds of things would go down in the larger part? Money. Banks. Money, banks. How about free trade? Entrepreneurship, land, labor, capital. Wow, what, say that again? Entrepreneurship, land, labor, capital. Yeah, okay, good, good. All right. Yeah, that's good. So you can apply this, good. You can use this tool in other places than just this classroom. That's what I want you to know.